Hello guys, hola amigos. My name is Alex Ostapenko and in this video I'm gonna give you some interesting ideas about this instrument which is called asalato and about mathematics of playing rhythms on this instrument. So, this idea is very simple. First of all, most people they learn how to catch how to catch the ball, right? Or do like this, something like this to hit. What I suggest, first of all, to learn this. Rotation, spinning. Because this is the most essential thing for this instrument. And second thing is to change the direction. Boom. To hit the ball and change the direction by clicking the ball. Boom. To rotate properly, I press two fingers so the rope is not going anywhere. And it's important to learn to do it with both hands. Then, if I want to change rotation, I go from top, boom, click, and then it's changed. The direction is changed. Now, if I want to change the direction, I go from down. Top. Down, top, down, top, down. Of course, you need to do it with the left hand as well. Top, down, top, down, top. I try to do it as slow as I can, but Asalato is very specific instrument, you cannot go very slow. So, okay, so first skill is this, a lot of practice, so it's going easy, nice, you, you feel you are not, um, you don't have any uh, tension or stress by doing that and opposite direction as well. Next thing, so the basic thing of uh, everyone who starts learning a salata is this, yeah, so shaking. Even not this, let's go for shaking. This is number one skill, number two skill. Number one is this, number two is shaking. When you do shaking, at some moment you can release one of the balls. This one you release, this one you hold, but not like this, of course. It's more like um, just protecting it a little bit from movement. When I move my hand, the ball is not moving. If I do like this, it starts to move and uh, then it's hard to play. So, little uh, protection. Then, you think only about this ball. Don't think about this ball. Only this, you shake it like a shaker. At some moment, of course, you think that somewhere in the future you will start to do like that, but the most, uh, the main idea is to concentrate on this ball and shake. You see, it goes like this itself. Same here, protection from movement and then shaking. At some moment it comes to this direction. So we have, this is the most simple thing when the ball is going from this side and from this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, and shaking, shaking is very important. So it's not just rotating the wrist. Forget about rotating wrist like that. Make all the movement from the shaking. And this is first element. Second element, we remember that the main thing was to rotate like that, right? So now we go rotate, click, rotate, click, rotate, click, rotate, click, rotate, click from top, from down, down, top, down, top, down, top, down, top, down, top, down. Okay, 
You see, I don't say anything about catching the ball from top, from down. It's a very nice skill, but we can do it later. Now, let's combine. So what I do now, first I do this simple element when I click immediately. So I hold it, then click from the top. And when I go back, I do one rotation, like one full circle. Tum, 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 tum. Okay, left hand. Sorry, too slow. One, two, three, four. Tum, 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 tum. So I go from top and then full circle. So when I hold it like this, one more time. First I go click directly, boom, and then full circle. And then from down. Again, click from top, change the direction, full circle from down. So that's how we do it, two hands. One, two, three, four. And there is certain mathematics behind these movements. I will tell you this is very important. This is one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Or I will use Indian kona call takita, 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 takita. So because of shaking, if you do it only with your rotation of your wrist you will never get this takita takita one two three so accurate so it's only possible if you do shaking that's why i say shaking is super important takita 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 next when you do this full circle like that it's five one two three four 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 five. 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 It's not so convenient to say in English one two three four five. So I will go to Indian kona call. It's da de gena dum. 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 Ba. So why am I counting? I'm counting to make sure that I understand the mathematics and the timing of this movement. So if I just do this without counting, I don't know how many like. Uh, count here how can I use it in my rhythms but now I know it's five one three four five one three four five one one two three four five one two three four five start again and that 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 now remember I told you that this is three takita 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 and that was was five so let's combine three and five and we'll say it in conical and play one two three four Takita, that again at them, 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 takita. So, what I do, in the moment of click, I start counting. Takita, da, you see, so, takita, da. I started, first click is takita, and click which is down is for that again at them because I do full circle. One, two, three. Four. Tuck it. That the gun at them. That the gun at them. Tuck it. 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 That the gun at them. Pa. We can make it opposite. So we can do first five and then three. One, two, three, four. That the gun at them. Tuck it. 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 Ta. Mathematics, very easy. Now, next thing what we can do, let's create a rhythm with 16 beats. It can be da di gena dum, da di gena dum, so two times five, and then three, three. Five plus five is ten, three plus three is six, ten plus six, sixteen. 
Very easy, you see? One, two, three, four. That the gun at 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 and then, after you master this, we can go for polyrhythms. But this will be the subject of my next lesson. If you want to have new lessons for me, just write a comment so I know that you're interested. But for now, just I will summarize. Learn shaking, then this protection from movement. And when you shake, this ball, the second ball will naturally come to do this. So concentrate only on the green ball in this case, yeah, the one which you hold in your hand. Then rotation this side, clicking rotation, changing the direction. Again, click, change the direction, click, change the direction, click. So just play with this direction, direction change till the time then it will be comfortable for you to do it very easy. Okay, then. Three is You can start with one hand, add second hand, so you do it with both hands, then remove one hand, do it with your left hand, again together. So it, it creates a um, nice control and uh, your focus is really developed. Then five, when you do click, Full rotation, click, full rotation, click, full rotation, click. But remember, shaking. It's always here. And count. So please count out loud like I do now, because that's how you really master the timing of this rhythm, not just doing something. And when you want to play with music, it will be perfect uh, background for you and you will understand what you are doing that's very important because yeah of course you can just improvise but what can happen you lose the timing you, you lose the size of the phrase you just go like you know somewhere and you don't know where you go but if you count if you really understand uh, which elements, how many counts it has in, uh, like under, underneath. It's a really good knowledge and system for you. So write me a comment. Did you like this video? Was it helpful for you? And if yes, I will make another one with next, uh, next amount of ideas.